Wilson takes on Connor Coffin and Ian Govea to set the bar this morning. And then there were two, Joe, as uh, we see the waves that we're expecting today. It looks beautiful out there. Already kicking things off with the rookie on tour, Ian Govea, finding a beautiful left at Pipeline. Gets things started, nice little warm up. Now we're transitioning back to three man heats. No losers in this round. First place skips round five, goes to the quarterfinals. Let's see what Ian did on the first wave, Potts. Yeah, well, I think we're going to see a lot more lefts today, Joe. There's a little bit more west in the swell. So these left handers are going to be utilized by the goofy footers. Ian Gavaya straight out of the gates at 2.83. So the judge is leaving a lot of room in the scale. It's a nice quick little in and out for Ian. And I like this cutback, which puts him right under the hook again. So critical stuff there for Ian Gavaya to kick this day off. I mean, it is going to be a jam-packed day. Beautiful setup on this wave of back door for Connor Coffin to swing into the pit. A couple of deep drives and he ends up getting hung up and goes straight down. On the takeoff, I didn't see him. A drop of water was out of place. Picture perfect conditions. You know, they've got to really dig deep for results. Connor driving through this one. And as you said, Joe, not a drop of water out of place. Maybe just some morning sickness at the moment. We need a little bit of offshore. It'll hold those barrels wide open for these guys as the day progresses. 21 on the clock here. Rookie Ian Govea locks in a pipe. That's the short ride there. Nice wave size-wise, but trying to get a little bit deeper is the big statement for Govea. 2 8 3 on his opener, warm-up ride on the left of pipe. It's going to be difficult to come out of the chair, but Ian Govea, look at that beautiful positioning right there. That wave broke a little wider on the uh, on the reef, and that is due to that west. So Ian Gavea slides in on wave number two. A bigger wave, perfect positioning. A bit of traffic there on that wave, but managing to navigate his way through. This is the shot I've been waiting for. Have a look at this. This is uh, a little glimpse of pipeline. Maybe not uh, what we've been expecting, but Ian Gavea showing why he is... Uh, Definitely one to watch out here, Joe, that's for sure. 5.33, opening up the scale a bit more for Govea. 2.83 was his start. More action in the water here. Govea locks in at pipe, pulls in on the takeoff. Nice positioning there. Bonus section for Govea, oh. and he gets taken down. Just to drive through it, but Ian Govea trying to get as deep as possible can see that takeoff technique where you kind of faded to the left of the screen and then turned back to the right of the screen which gives you uh, a deeper position on the wave but it's very dangerous in the sense of you're losing a lot of speed comes through that section and then you can see him dragging his hands which he was trying to get himself back up into that high line he sort of drifted down a little bit the lip came in contact with him and that was all she wrote 550 to go priority with Connor Coffin in blue he can't get in Govea late takeoff the pipe Nice and deep, comes out with a spin. Govea loving this bit of west of the swell, offering some opportunity at Pipeline, improving on a 2.83 without effort. 5.30 to go. Govea has the best waves in a similar part of the scale, both five Rangers. How'd you like the first one? Yeah, I mean, perfect, perfect positioning. Couldn't have done it any better, couldn't have got any deeper. A little bit of traffic there for Ian, but manages to navigate it perfectly. And then this one here, Connor Coffin, not even looking at the left, which kind of amazes me because he was in a good position there to slide in on his backhand and maybe get a good score of his own. But Ian Gavea, identifying the fact that Connor wasn't even looking at that left, uh, rolled the dice and got a 5.4. Well, it's been great. He's having a look at this one too. It's a steep one. He's late. He pulls under the curtain. This could be his best wave of the heat so far. Comes out with the spit and getting a turn in there, yes. I was gonna say that there's definitely better rights as Ian goes into another little barrel down the inside there too. Oh, that was a great ride, and as Pot said, he's had the left to himself, but I do feel like when the absolute bombs come, you know, he's been getting those five point rides, when the absolute bombs come, they are rights. Seeing a set at back door, providing a big cavern with a lot of power. How'd you like this last one for the rookie, Pot? Uh, I loved it. I, I think this is gonna go into his top two. Why, because it was, you know, he didn't have to slow himself down. It was more of a, a late drop. He drove through that end, that, that barrel. It was, uh, there was no slowing down. It was pedal to the metal. It was a little bit more critical. It was a steeper drop, but then you can see pulling straight into the barrel, coming out with the spit. So this is definitely one of his better waves. 
The lefts are starting to open up, and I think these guys have got to realize that. Ian Gavayas is having it all his own way. Three solid scores for him in this last wave that's just about to lock in is really going to put a lot of pressure on his opponents. You can see the Brazilian crowd loving it. He is fighting for his life on tour. And I hate to say it, Pots, but he always brings up heats with you. Oh, stop Even it, a Joe. final in Europe. I was about to say that. Moving you're going to bring it up again, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> Gouveia taking this wave into the beach. A big performance for the rookie on tour into the quarterfinals of the Billabong Pipe Masters. Connor and Julian deal with round five.